Hi everyone, it's Tatiana from Tatiana's Everyday Food and welcome back to my kitchen. So today I wanted to share with you guys my healthy version of the Asian chicken salad. I'm gonna show you how to put together a wonderful salad base. We're gonna be using some romaine lettuce, some red cabbage, some shredded carrots, and we're gonna to top everything off with juicy chicken breasts. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a delicious soy sauce and sesame seed glaze and salad dressing to go with this. It's such a refreshing salad and I know you guys are gonna like it. Um, also, a lot of you have been asking me to do a nonstick pan review. So watch to the end of this video and I'm going to talk about one of my favorite pans and I'll tell you guys a few tips how to take care of it and what I like best about it. And now for our salad ingredients. So we're going to use one small head of romaine lettuce. I'm going to cut off the end here and discard that. And for this lettuce, I'm actually just going to shred it. So I'm going to cut it into nice thin slices. I'm going to use about half of a small head of red cabbage and we're going to shred the cabbage as well. So you just want to cut it in half, set aside that one part. So you want to have nice long thin slices. I'm going to be using three green scallions. I'm going to use the white part and the green part. Just cut off the ends here first and then we're going to slice them into nice long slivers. I'm going to chop up a small bunch of fresh cilantro. I grated one large carrot and I'm going to add that right into the salad as well. I'm going to give my salad a quick toss and then set it aside until I'm ready to serve. So I have one third cup of tamari sauce measured out into a measuring cup. This is very similar to a soy sauce, so you can use either one. I'm going to set that aside and next I'm going to add about a quarter cup of rice vinegar. So let's measure that out right here. I'm going to add about one third cup of water. And we're going to add a few tablespoons of sesame seed oil. I'm going to pour all of that into a small saucepan. And then to that, I'm also going to add one fourth cup of packed brown sugar. I'm going to add that right in. And then just take a whisk and whisk everything together. I'm going to bring this over to the stovetop and I'm going to cook it over a medium low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until the sauce really reduces and it's going to become a nice thick glaze. So I have my sauce simmering in the background and I'm also heating my pan over medium heat. So once it's hot, I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil and I'm going to add my chicken breasts. So I have two chicken breasts and I've portioned them into smaller pieces. So they'll be uh, cooking faster and they'll be easier to serve on top of our salad. So let the chicken breast cook for a few minutes on each side until it's nicely browned. After you've browned your chicken on all sides, you want to add a little bit of that prepared sauce over the top. And this is going to be our seasoning and our glaze. So I'm going to place my pan into the oven. I have it preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these smaller pieces are going to cook a little bit faster. So just make sure your chicken doesn't overcook. If you're not sure if it's done or not, you want to take a thermometer, insert it into the center, and it should reach 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And that takes about 15 to 18 minutes, depending on the thickness. And then every so often, every couple minutes, you want to take it out and turn it so the chicken is evenly seasoned on all sides. And now we're ready to finish everything off. So we have all our components ready. I'm going to spoon in a couple large spoonfuls of my salad mix right onto my plate here. And I'm loving all these vibrant colors. The salad looks really good. I'm going to add a few slivers of some mandarins. And these are canned. I just drained all the liquids out of them. I'm going to add some slivered almonds to the top as well. These are going to add a little bit of crunch and flavor. I also have some, some dried chow mein noodles. Sprinkle these on the top as well. And now for our chicken. So I like to use one piece per salad. I'm just going to take a sharp knife and then just slice it into nice thin slices. I'm going to transfer all that chicken. I'm going to place it right on top of my salad here. Perfect. This looks so good. 
And that rest of the glaze that we prepared earlier, that's gonna act as our salad dressing. So we wanna take a couple spoonfuls, just drizzle that over that chicken. It's gonna keep it nice and moist. And then we're gonna just sprinkle some right over all the greens here. And now it's time to give our salad a try. I just wanna say I love all the colors on this plate. You get the bright orange from the carrots and the mandarins, and that purple cabbage just gives it this bright pop of color. So I'm gonna to try to get a little bit of everything on my fork here. I absolutely love how refreshing and delicious the salad is. You get so many different flavor components. You get that juicy, delicious chicken. And then I love the homemade soy sauce glaze. It really adds so much flavor to the salad and you get that refreshing uh, cilantro, the cabbage, the carrots. I especially love the crunchy noodles on top. I know my husband loves them too. They're one of his favorite salad toppings. And this is such a great combination. Everything on this plate tastes so good and it's so much healthier than if you were gonna go out and just uh, buy the salad at a restaurant. Usually they douse that chicken in a lot of fat and oil and this is perfect. It's really healthy and it's super refreshing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe. Don't forget to subscribe and share all your photos with me on Instagram and Facebook. I love to see your creations. And now for our pan review. So in this video, I was using this all clad, non-stick copper core 10 inch pan. So these come in three different sizes. They have them an eight inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch. And I picked this up at Williams Sonoma. So the first thing you're gonna notice about this pan is its weight. It's a hefty pan and you can feel the weight in your hand and it feels like a true professional pan. Once you put it on the heat, you're gonna notice that it heats very evenly across. One thing that I hate about some other pans is one side of the pan, the food will be burnt and the other side is gonna be raw. And that's the most irritating thing when you're trying to make a perfect dish for somebody. So this will heat evenly and it heats up really quickly as well. And that's where the copper core comes in. It'll distribute the heat evenly across the base and you're gonna get perfect food across your pan each time. Another thing I love about this is the stay cool handle. So even when you're cooking something on the stove top, this is gonna stay cool. So if you wanna grab it, if you wanna move the pan around, this is perfect. Also, this all clad pan comes with a lifetime warranty. So if you take good care of it, this should last you quite some time. And that's what I love about it. It's just quality that's made to last. And if anything does happen, you can always bring it in. They'll change it out for you. Um, so a few tips how to take care of your nonstick pans. And this is important if you want it to last for a while. So first, never ever touch anything metal onto the nonstick surface. It's gonna scratch it right off. Second, use a non-abrasive soap when you're washing this. Make sure you use the soft side of the sponge. And of course, don't put your pans in the dishwasher. Please do not put them in your dishwasher. Just wash them with some light soap and just let them air dry. So I hope you guys enjoy this pan if you do get it. I highly recommend it. And I'm gonna try to um, include it in some of my upcoming videos and let you guys know how I like it.